are you willing to calculate break even point of your business a point where your all costs are equal to your revenue or are you willing to calculate margin of safety margin of safety is the point where your revenue is more than your uh, break even point and do you want to calculate the selling price of your product that you are going to sell in market and are you willing to calculate the fixed cost and variable cost of your business then stay with me in this video assalamu alaikum everyone this is mohammad sohrab and you are watching evolve sage virtual learning today we will calculate break even point and on the basis of that calculation we will further calculate its related calculations like break even point of our business uh, margin of safety and the selling price of our product and the desired sale which we want to achieve uh, during a period and how we can calculate for variable cost and fixed cost of our business so all these calculations will be done during this video so let's go to our today's session and and let's know how we can calculate uh, these important uh, figures guys as we know that profit volume ratio is the key component of uh, costing and managerial accounting because almost more than 50% our costing is totally depend on profit volume ratio because on the basis of this ratio we can calculate a lot of uh, very vital values and very vital uh, ratios so let's know how we can calculate calculate profit volume ratio as we know that profit volume ratio tell us the show the relationship between profit and sales uh, in other words we can say that profit volume ratio tell us against one dollar sale how much we have earned as we know that profit volume ratio tell us that against one dollar of sales how much profit you have so let's know how we can calculate profit volume ratio and how we can calculate uh, contribution so let's know what is actually contribution guys as we know that we consume two types of cost in production department and uh, these costs we we have discussed in our previous video that we consume two types of cost one is variable cost and then second is fixed cost variable cost is the cost which fluctuate with the level of productivity and fixed cost is the cost that doesn't vary with the level of productivity it is not affected from the variation in our production so uh, these cost we have studied in our previous video so how we can calculate uh, contribution so for calculation of profit volume ratio for calculation of contribution we need to deduct the amount of variable cost from our total sales price okay once we deduct that amount then that remaining amount will be considered as contribution so guys how actually we calculate profit we calculate profit when we deduct our all costs from the from our total sales once we deduct all cost from our total so sales that remaining amount is called as prof, prof, profit or that remaining amount called as profit or loss so here in uh, so here this cost consists on two types of cost one is variable cost and then second is uh, fixed cost or cost so 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 guys when we deduct variable cost from our total sales then that remaining figure called as contribution then that remaining figure called as contribution okay so we can say that contribution is the difference between selling price and variable cost okay 
so contribution is the difference between selling price and variable cost cost and profit or loss so contribution consists on uh, both things one is profit or then second is fixed cost so contribution is the amount from which we have not deducted our fixed cost okay so contribution is the amount from which we have not deducted our fixed cost once we deduct fixed cost from contribution then that amount will be called as profit or loss so so guys once we deduct fixed cost from our contribution that remaining amount called as profit or loss if our fixed cost is higher than contribution then definitely we will face loss okay if our fixed cost is less than contribution then we have profit so we can say that the difference between fixed cost and contribution is either profit or loss okay so the difference between contribution and fixed cost will be either profit or loss so let me repeat it again that uh, for for calculation of profit volume ratio we will uh, divide contribution over total sales okay so now we need to know about the contribution and now we have to calculate contribution for con for calculation of contribution what we need to do for calculation of contribution we need to deduct the variable cost from our sell price so once we deduct that our variable cost then that remaining amount will be called as contribution and contribution is the amount that consist on variable uh, that consist on fixed cost and profit or loss so so once we deduct variable cost from our uh, sales that amount will be considered as contribution and once we deduct our fixed cost from our contribution then that remaining figure will be as profit or loss so we can say that contribution is the amount that consists on fixed cost and a part of profit or loss if our fixed cost is higher than contribution then definitely we will face loss and if our uh, fixed cost is less than contribution then we will earn uh, profit over here okay so here for contribution we need to uh, deduct sell we, we we need to write sell price and sell price is 91 rupees 91 dollar and then and sell price is 91 dollar and the variable cost over here is 41 dollar okay so we deducted 41 from here and the amount of contribution is the amount of contribution is 50 or less calculate uh, profit volume ratio because we have uh, determined the contribution and now we will divide sales price of sales sale price here now we need to divide this contribution over total sales so let's uh, calculate profit volume ratio contribution and the figure of contribution is 50 okay 50 divided by sales price so the sale price here is 91 so we divided it with 91 and now we will multiply that amount with 100 okay so the contribution over here so the profit volume uh, ratio is 54.94 54.94 point nine four it is our nine four it is our profit volume ratio now we have calculated our profit volume ratio and as i said you earlier that profit volume ratio help us in many uh, calculations like on the basis of this profit volume ratio now we we, we can calculate a break even point and now Furthermore, we can calculate uh, 
we can also determine the margin of safety the amount of sales for earning a desirable profit and and the fixed cost and variable cost all these costs we can calculate on the basis of this profit volume ratio so profit volume ratio will help us in calculations of different figures which are necessary during costing like uh, um, break even point margin of safety and other calculations which are so much necessary during the calculations so now we will calculate all these uh, figures on the basis of profit volume ratio first we will calculate break even point so first we need to know what is actually break even point break even point as we know that break even point is the point where our all costs are equal to our total revenue we can say that break even point is the point where we earn no profit and we do not losses on that point what i said i am repeating it again break even point is the point where our total revenue is equal to our total cost or total expenses so we can say that break even point is the point where we have no profit or no loss so let's know how we can create break even point and what why actually it is necessary for us to uh, calculate break even points because we want to know that how much amount we need to, how much sales we need to do uh, to reach our break even point and in a cost analyst we need to know about the break even points so we can uh, assume that uh, at this point we will be able to meet our total expenses and total cost mostly this calculation is being done by uh, small businesses because whether will they able to meet their uh, all cost uh, during the current year or not so they uh, actually calculate break even point and they want to know that how much sales yet they need to do in order to reach to the point of break even so let's know how we can calculate break even point on the basis of profit volume ratio we have a uh, profit volume ratio and uh, now we are able to calculate our break even point so it is very simple to calculate break even point by dividing our fixed cost uh, our profit volume ratio we can calculate uh, our break even point so the fixed cost is for 150 and we will divide it over profit volume ratio it is for 0 0.56 so let's know what is the break even point here five one fifty divided by uh, zero point five six it is two sixty seven point eight five so this will be the amount where this will be the amount of revenue where our total cost will be equal to our total ex where our where our total revenue will be equal to our total costs so how we can check that uh, whatever we have calculated whatever we have calculated it is accurate or not how we can check this uh, whether this point is a break even point or not for that we need to calculate uh, two things here first we need to know that how many units we have sold at this point okay uh, we did sales uh, the sales figure is 267.85 uh, so we need to know that at this point how many units we have sold okay so that we can multiply our variable cost with those number of units so what we need to do, do here we need to uh, divide this sales figure with the per unit price so the per unit price is 91 rupees okay so per unit price is 91 so now we can know that how many units we have sold at this point so we want to know how many units we have sold this point at this point so 267.85 divided by 91 
so this is so the number of point which we have sold at this point is 2.94 if we sold 2.94 units then our total revenue will be equal to our total cost so let's check it 2.94 so the number of units is 2.94 so let's check it uh, at this point our total revenue will be equal to our total cost or not we have sold 2.94 units at this point we have sold 2.94 units so let's know the variable cost of 2.94 units so the variable cost of 2.94 units is multiply variable cost per unit is uh, 40 okay 40 rupees so let's know how much we uh, how much variable cost we consumed here 2.94 multiply 40 so the variable cost uh, which we have consumed is for 117.6 117.6 so this is the variable cost and now we will add our fixed cost for our fixed cost is for 1.50 here is our fixed cost and our fixed cost is 1.50 we know that we sold whether whether we sold one unit or whether we sold a hundred unit our fixed cost will be remain same so the the cost which will fluctuate with the level of productivity that productivity that called cost will be variable cost so now let's know how much cost we have consumed here we will So let's add this cost. Let's add our fixed cost in our variable cost. So the total will be 267.6. So 267.6. It is all almost same. What we incurred our what revenue we earn here, our total cost is almost so total cost is almost equal to our total revenue so we uh, now we know that the break-even point that we have determined it is accurate break-even point because uh, we know that at this point our revenue is for 2.67.85 and uh, our total cost is for 2.67.6 uh, so it is equal to our so the tot so the cost is equal to our total revenue so this point will be called as break even point margin of safety is the point or is the value where our revenue is more than our break even point uh, that means we have expected uh, that we will reach to the break even point the point where where there is no loss and no profit but if our sales increase more than that point then and we have did more sales than uh, our expectation then the difference between actual sales and mar break even point is called as margin of safety i'm repeating it again the difference between actual sales and break even point is called margin of safety okay guys we have calculated um, break even point okay now we will calculate margin of safety what is actually margin of safety Sa margin of safety is the point where our uh, actual sales is more than our break even point so when our actual sale exceed the break even point that point will be called as margin of safety okay and at that point our sales will be more than our break even point we have break even we I suppose we have expected that uh, we will sell to the point of break even uh, and our total sales will be to 67.85 but actually at this year we sold uh, our but actually at but actually in this year but actually in this year our sale is for 600 and our revenue is for 600 so uh, our revenue has exceeded the break-even point 
and break even at break even point our revenue is for, our revenue is for two uh, six seven point eight five and our actual sale is six hundred so our sales and our actual sale is for six hundred so let's calculate margin of safety how much uh, margin of safety we did here how much profit we earn more than our uh, break even point so the difference between break even point and actual sales will be called as margin of safety okay so break even point okay our actual sales is higher than break even point so let's know how much we earn more than our actual sales so we our sale is for 600 and let's know how much variable cost we have consumed here we know that uh, for this we need to know that at we our sale is for 600 so now we know that well, now we need, need to know that how much units we have sold here okay we need to know the number of units we sold here so for that we know that our total what we will do what will we do here we will divide this amount of sales so first we need to know that how many units we have sold here so that we can multiply uh, our variable cost with those units okay so we need to know that how many units we have sold here at this level when we did 600 sales when we did sales for 600 we need to know that how many units have been sold here so for that what we will do we will divide this 600 with the price per unit with the sales price so we will divide this amount with the sales price and our sales price is 91 rupee okay so when we will divide 600 over 91 that calculated amount will be our number of units that which we have sold here so how many units we have sold here it is 6.59 so the 6.59 units we sold here revenue or sales is for 600 and our, our variable cost is 40 dollar rupee per uh, unit and number of units which have been sold here is 6.59 okay so the variable cost for uh, 6.59 units is 6.59 multiply 40 it is 263.73 so this is the variable cost which we have consumed here so let's know the margin of safety 263.73 and fixed cost is for 150 so how much fixed cost will remain fixed as we know that uh, it will not change with the level of productivity and uh, it mostly depend on the uh, time and period it doesn't depend on uh, production so it will remain fixed here okay so let's know what is the amount of profit 600 uh, we deducted 263.73 okay then we deducted 150 so the margin of safety is sorry the profit here we earn is 186.27 186.27 it is our profit which we have earned here so let's know so let's calculate margin of safety we know that margin of safety mean we need to divide our profit uh, with the uh, profit volume unit so profit volume ratio so uh, our profit here is one at six point two seven and we will divide it uh, with profit volume ratio and six okay so we will divide uh, our profit volume ratio here 0.56 which we have calculated earlier so what is the amount of margin of safety it is 0.56. so what is the amount of margin of safety here what we need to do do oh, one at six 
0.27 divided by 0.56 so the margin of safety is 332 0 0.5 0 0.62 0 0.62 it is the margin of safety so let's see what uh, whether this amount is exact or not okay so what we need to do here we need to write our uh, actual sales and we have to deduct our break even point it is 267.85 so it is 332 or and it is as uh, similar what we have calculated through the uh, profit volume ratio so the difference between actual sales, sales and break even point will be called as um, margin of safety and we calculate this margin of safety through uh, profit volume ratio so oh guys now we will calculate selling price selling price means that a product you are going to launch in market uh, so over at what price you should sell it in the market uh, and all prices are decided on the basis of the cost which we incurred during the operation so let's know how we can calculate those uh, cost and on the basis of those cost how we can decide the selling price of our product and service okay guys now we will calculate selling price per unit as i said you earlier that uh, profit volume ratio is an amazing formula or an amazing calculation that help us in many calculations uh, like uh, we have calculated break even point margin of safety now we will calculate selling price per unit mean that what price we should select for a particular unit which we are going to sell uh, and now it is the time to determine the price of that unit which we have manufactured in our factory or in our uh, firm so now we, we we have to determine the price per unit so that we can sell that unit according to that price so this is a big question what price we should select for a particular unit so now we will get help from profit volume ratio profit volume ratio will help us to determine the selling price per unit so guys uh, we have this data and on the basis of this data we will calculate selling price per unit and uh, the formula which we will use for determining uh, selling price per unit is variable cost divided by 1 minus profit volume ratio okay so the variable cost is 40 okay the variable cost is 40 and we will divide it with one minus uh, and profit volume ratio is 0 0.56 0 0.56 okay so that mean that so this mean that so this mean that we are going to divide 40 over uh, 0 0.44 I mean I, when I deduct uh, 0 0.56 uh, from 1 so the remaining amount will be 0 0.44 okay so what is the selling price per unit so the selling price per unit is so let's know the selling price per unit okay the selling price which the uh, at which we have to sell our product uh, we have to divide 40 with 0 0.44 okay 0 0.44 so the selling price is 90.90 it is almost same at what we are selling right now okay so it is almost same at what we are actually selling right now so it is 90.90 and uh, we have calculated accurate selling price okay so it is the amount if we do not know uh, if it this amount is uh, not written here and uh, if our analyst financial analyst and our boss ask us to calculate the selling price so it is very simple to calculate it okay what we need to do here we just need to d divide the variable cost with the uh, so what we need to do here we just need to divide our variable cost with 1 minus 
uh, profit volume ratio then that uh, calculated amount will be the selling price per unit at what we have to sell in the market guys uh, now we, now we will calculate uh, desired sell what does desired sell mean desired sell mean that for example your boss has asked you that in this month i want to earn this amount of profit so how we so on the basis of that profit on the basis of that desired profit how much sales we need to do in order to reach that profit level so let's calculate that how we can calculate calculate the selling the amount of sales uh, on the basis of that sell we can reach the desired profit so let's calculate the desired sell uh, in order to earn the desired profit uh, another most amazing calculation uh, in costing is desired profit suppose that uh, your boss asks you that i want forty thousand dollar in this month so how much sell we have to do so that i earn this profit okay so your boss asked you that calculate the amount of sales uh, so i earn this desired profit so what will be what will be the amount of sales at that i could earn the amount of, uh, of profit is 40000 so at at that i earn the amount of profit uh, for 40000 so now your objective is to calculate that amount of sale where you can easily earn 40000 okay so uh, let's calculate this amount uh, of sales so guys how we can calculate that cell where we earn 40,000 for uh, calculating that cell at fixed cost and desired profit and we have to divide that total uh, with profit volume ratio okay so it is very simple now what we need to do here we just need to uh, write our fixed cost our fixed cost is uh, 150 okay and the desired profit which we want to earn here it is 40,000 and we have to divide it with profit volume ratio and our profit volume ratio is 0 0.56 0 0.56 so let's know the sales where we can earn this amount 150 and we will add this amount with 40,000 okay uh, profit volume ratio so the profit volume ratio is 0. Point, 0.56 so this is the amount of sales uh, which we need to do in order to earn the profit amount of 40,000 71,696 if we do sales or if we earn revenue 76,696 then we can earn this amount of profit okay so let's see whether this uh, calculation is accurate or not how we can check whether this calculation is done ac is accurately uh, done or not okay how whether we have calculated this amount accurately or not how we can check this uh, first we need to know the variable cost okay for uh, calculating variable cost we need to know the very um, the number of units which we have sold here so how we can know the number of units which we sold here we know that uh, the price uh, per unit is 91 so we divided this price per unit so the units number of units which we sold here is 91 it is 787.87 so so the number of unit which we sold here it is uh, 787.87 and we when we multiply this number of units with 91 that uh, sale will be 71696 so now we can easily calculate variable cost okay so 
787.87 we will multiply it with a variable cost per unit it is 40 so the variable cost per unit is 40 we multiply it 40 so what is the cost of variable multiply 40 it is 31 uh, 514 31 514 okay so this is our sales so this is the amount of sales and here is our variable cost it is 31 514 and our fixed cost is fixed cost is for 150 it is written here okay so let's know the profit we know that when we deduct all cost from our sales when we deduct all cost from our total sales then that remaining amount called as profit okay so let's know the profit uh, we want to check that whether we accurately uh, calculated this figure or not okay we want to know that whether we calculated this figure accurate accurately or not we are checking this so what we need to do here in order to determine profit we need to detect all cost from our total sales okay so our total sales is 71 696 and we deducted our variable cost is 31514 and then we deducted desired profit it is 40,000 and it is near to 40,000 almost uh, both are same so we have calculated accurately our profit Okay guys, if you like my video, if you uh, thought that it is uh, valuable for you and you have learned something from this video, so kindly subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you get the not notification whenever I upload a new video. And the reason behind subscribing is that it will let me know that you guys keep interest in my videos and I will uh, keep doing such more work.